What up guys? It is Eric Barfield back with another tutorial for you. Today we're going to learn about how to map your controller to your main stage project in layout mode. Why do you want to do this? Because this is sort of like your ace in the hole live. You want to make sure that all of the MIDI CCs coming in from your controller will control exactly the parameters that you want it to control and nothing else. Um, there's several different ways to do this and there's a lot of debate about which the is the best way, but I'll go ahead and show you this way. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fire up Main Stage 3. I am running a video capture program in case you haven't noticed. So this is going to run just a little sluggish. We're going to fire up something, um, any project that we want. With me today, I have a Axiom Air 32 Mini. I love this little thing. It is a small MIDI controller, has eight knobs that I'm going to work with, and it's perfect when I'm on the road, which I am at the moment. So I'm going to go to my layout mode, and we're going to assign the output here. I'm going to hit sign on the left side, and then I'm going to just move the controller that I want to use. So I'm going to use this right one here. We'll turn that off and let's see if this works. Voila! It worked! Yay! Okay, now we're going to go back to the edit mode and I want to show you something that just happened. I'm going to switch to my workspace. I move this. Ah! But I don't know if you can tell. There is a knob over here moving at the same time. This happens a lot in main stage if you don't understand this next step. So, Fortunately for you, you're watching this video. Let me show you how to fix it. We're going to go to the assignments and mappings. And when I move this controller, main stage has decided it's going to be a punk and assign my knobs automatically for me, which is great if I'm not techie, but I'm techie. So I'm going to show you how to take this out of control. If I move my knob like this, you can see a little yellow light that appears right over here. In order to turn this off, I'm going to have to click on it and I'm going to take the channel and unassign it. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to uh, remove this knob from sending it to anything other than what I've told it to do in layout mode. So when I go back to my workspace and then I go into full screen mode, if I move this now, do you notice how this ambience is not moving at all? This is really, really important if you have ever bought a pack from me or anybody else on the internet to do this because um, it will automatically assign on certain MIDI controllers. So whenever you're trying to figure this out, refer back to this video. Um, if you have a question or if I didn't make something clear, Leave it in the show notes. I will try really hard to be clear and concise and actually make sense. So thanks, and I'll see you soon.